Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to part two of this tutorial where I'm going over camera tracking. Uh, last time we talked about the After Effects side of things, so now we're ready to jump into Cinema 4D. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Um, so we have our tracking test two, and we're gonna go ahead and import that. And uh, here's what we're gonna see right away. So we're looking good already. We got our pool table here, that plane that we set up. And if we go ahead and twirl these down, our camera is on by default. I think I've had it happen before where it came in with it off. So uh, just make sure if it looks a little weird to uh, make sure your camera's on. So now we've got our pool table. And uh, we've also got a null, right, that I set up in uh, After Effects. So we've got everything we need, but we would like to see the background image as reference. So let's go ahead and make a new material and let's load an image. And I actually made a JPEG sequence of the clip that we tracked. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and load it into here. And we'll go to our animation and hit calculate. And that is ready to go. So now how are we gonna present it on here? Well, let's make a background. And that is the best way to do it. So we'll chuck our uh, texture on the background and boom, there you go. We've got our footage and we've got our plane stuck on there. All right, so let's check out our null. There's a couple of things that I want to talk about really quick. If you look at this null, you can see that it's not quite perfect. It's maybe okay, but um, sometimes I have problems with nulls based on what point I decided to use in After Effects. So if your null isn't looking super great, go back to After Effects, uh, make a couple other nulls in different places that might have a better track. But uh, even if your nulls don't work, you can still do a pretty good job based on this plane. So we roughed it out pretty uh, quickly. Uh, you might want to do a little bit of a better job. Um, but if you have this plane, you can go ahead and integrate 3D objects pretty easily. So let's take this sphere and put it right where that null was. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and take that sphere and put it into the null. And uh, what we're going to do is zero out all of the position and rotation coordinates for this sphere. And then it will inherit uh, the position and rotation of that null. And now it's right there, so we can take it out of there and go ahead and scale it down. And you'll notice that this null is not quite right. It's a little bit off. Um, but that's okay, because we have this plane, which is a representation of um, exactly where the surface of the pool table is. So as long as we have the ball sort of sitting on that plane, it's gonna stick. So, cause we got the 3D camera, right? So now if we go ahead and scrub through here, you can see that this ball is sticking uh, perfectly on that pool table. And um, you never know, sometimes there are problems. You might have to go back and retrack it and make that, uh, that accuracy number a little bit lower. You might have to go back and play with your plane a little bit, and you might have to go back and try some different nulls. But overall, I usually get it on the first or second try without too many modifications. And uh, as you can see, um, we're looking pretty good. So we've got that 3D ball sitting in that scene perfectly. Now you can go ahead and add a cloner, make multiple ones. You can even take this plane and put a um, put a dynamics tag on here and the balls will kind of stick to it and roll around. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that up to you. My point is just showing you how to set up the workflow, all the details of bringing in the planes and the nulls, how to replace an object into the null, and then uh, have it in that exact position. All that stuff is set now, you understand it, you know how to do it. Now you can rock and roll and make some cool art. So uh, this has been a really, really cool tutorial for me. I've learned a lot and uh, I'm actually really, really excited about this workflow. Really, really exciting developments in our industry right now and I hope that this opens up some huge doors for you. Thanks for watching the tutorial guys. Have a lot of fun and we'll talk again soon. Bye everybody.